<laughs> These guys can eat a lot more pumpkin. <laughs> he doesn't like the one. Ah! Skip it a bad and bad about beautiful thick muscle mommy prairie dog. Yeah. <laughs> Does smell a bit stinky. He's only 40 pounds now. He's just like his dad. Good morning, everybody. The guys are finishing up the enclosure in the back and they let the baby out somehow. So now we gotta start the day off by wrangling him in. Hey there, beautiful little boy. Now this is how you guys catch a kangaroo. The baby starts to hop away, I'm just gonna... Oh no! Okay, let's see if we can herd him back over there. I can't open this gate because his wife is also waiting to get out. Okay, there we go. This is my second attempt. Okay, guys, we got him in this little corner here. I don't think I can get out of this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this one more time. This time I'm actually just gonna grab him and see if I can carry him over. But look at this, you guys. We finally have electric here and all of the breakers are installed. So now I can finally have electric. And it only took 10 weeks for them to do this. Come on, to baby. Also, we finally have pecans growing on these trees too, so I can get a little bit of pecans for dinner. Look at this, you guys. This is the first year since I've been here that this tree actually produced any pecans. And I think the baby's eating them. So I can't wait till all this construction is done so the baby can just live up here. Also, Patrick and Halfcock have been getting along really well. I'm thinking about putting Halfcock in there with Patrick because they spend a lot of time on the other end of the fence sniffing each other. And he's a lot friendlier now. I don't want to grab the baby right now because I'm afraid that he'll hurt his feet on the gravel. Half cock moment. Okay guys, let's see if I can do this. If I can catch an armadillo with one hand, I can catch a baby with one hand. Hey buddy, it's me, your dad, the baby. Do you remember whenever I raised you from the time you were a young child? Oh! Yes! Oh, oh, whoa! Oh baby. All right, we got him. We got him, kids. Take a look at this, you guys. I think this is officially the largest kangaroo that anyone's ever hand caught on camera on YouTube. If you guys show me any refuting evidence, no matter how substantial, I will simply put in my fingers in my ears and go, la, 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 la. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Uh, and it doesn't matter that Andrew Uckel's caught a wild one. The baby's basically Petunia wild. Petunia also got out and she got into this thing. What is this perfect little hole of water doing in the middle of this pond? Look at this man. He's just like his daddy. Kevin's not in a particularly aggressive mood today because there's been a hundred people walking around. Also, some of you Dinkelbergs were commenting, oh, he neglects his dogs now. Guys, I make videos once every three to four days. Every day I spend 10 to 15 hours with Poggers and Queen on this trampoline here whenever I'm not filming. 13 to 15 hours I spend. That's 20 to 26 hours a day I spend with these two. So no, I don't neglect them. And whoever commented that, this is your grandmother's house. Garbanzo Beans is very happy to see me per usual Petunia found a little bit of natural shade. My buddy Colton cut most of the grass yesterday and I had to bring Patrick inside for that. He's gonna come out today to do the rest of it. Hello everybody, it's that time of the year again and Uncle Ben's putting Patrick in the bathroom so the guys can work on mowing the lawn. And if you guys remember from the older videos, he would run into walls until his head was bloody. And I had to cover the ground with all these blankets because he's gonna pee and poop on them. And he slides, as you can see. His hooves don't work very well with the vinyl. But this way he has this little comfortable area to sit down in which is much too small for him now unless he's sitting down but look at how tall these weeds got you guys gee i sure hope this woman gives birth soon i also randomly visited the alabama wildlife center in the last couple days and this is one of the biggest bird rehabs in alabama as you can see at this rehab they covered most of the walls with this plastic sheeting cooper's hawk moment this here is one of the nicest flight pens i've ever seen for raptors so that middle area there is for hunting and then the rest of this whole area here has vertical slats and then also this plastic lattice so that they can't grip the walls and then get their feathers stuck in them. And even the ceiling here, you can see, is slats instead of some kind of netting. They also mix several species together. This is an educational ambassador eagle. Oh, she don't got no left eye. Look at this cringe eye bird. Oh my goodness. And I met this nice young lady here with a little red screech owl. And they even had this big boardwalk of educational ambassador birds on display. Come on, guys, let's go. This is the exact mesh that we would be using. Perfect. Look at this, you guys. They have this whole area here so we can view the rehabbed animals. We rescued one of these guys a while back. It just keeps going. And all of these enclosures have the exact type of mesh that we're going to be using. Oh, my God. 
goodness. But now we no longer have a forest of weeds around the house, just around the barn. Also, I put Master Ugwe up here so that he wouldn't get hit by a lawnmower, but he's just been destroying everything. Look how big his poops are. Look at this beautiful creature. He's only 40 pounds now. <laughs> but now this little boy here's got plenty of fresh grass to nibble on on the ground. And he can even eat these fresh clippings. And it won't be as easy to lose them now, especially after we cut the rest of this stuff. Now it's still getting up to 95 degrees here for the high, but at least it's not 100 anymore. And now's the time of the morning that I let Big Ounce go into his nice new enclosure. But he does smell a bit stinky. He does smell a bit tinky. But until we start to rehabilitate any large owls or hawks, Big Ounce can hang out in here and he can't escape from here because we have all this mesh. And this is all plenty of nice fresh grass for him to eat. Have fun in here, Bibbiton. There is no more pure of a creature than Big Ounce. This will be a great little place for him to run around in during the day. And if we fill this up with soil, it could be a bit of a Big Ounce topia in of itself. This cringe ostrich over here that escaped the other day, I still have in solitary confinement, but she's got plenty of greens to eat in here. I can't move her back out here until these guys are done and we clean up the rest of the trash. But a company called Deer Busters is donating all the fencing we need for this whole eagle and osprey enclosure. The issue's just gonna be putting it all on there. But this girl's got plenty of food over here and she's happy over here by herself for now. But as you can see, she's already warming up to me and eating all of her food. And she'll be eating out of my hands in no time. Muscle mommy. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should actually name her. We're not doing Stormfront because apparently I'd get canceled if we did that. So uh, I was thinking Lean Beef Patty. These boys really know how to jam out. And Garbanzo Beans is still doing very well and he's always very excited to see me. The algae in this pond has gone way down and you can see all of my fish now. Look at all those gods. Well, Garbanzo Beans likes to just sit here and stare at it. Look at that beautiful little boy. So I do think that he's nibbling on the lily pads, you guys. What's doing that? But I see my catfish, a ton of cichlids, the gar. I saw the sturgeon down there somewhere. I don't know why, but the vegetation does not seem to stay alive very long on the side of the pond here. But Garbanzo Beans is probably one of the happiest ducks in existence here. And Homelander still always comes over whenever I'm feeding something. And all of these little guys get along, and it'd be nice to have them in there together, but Kevin is just the little bad egg. I don't want him biting them. Look at them all standing together. Come on, baby! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, here it comes! Woo! Now we got our own little stream, our own little natural Barton Springs right here in Waco, Texas. Beautiful Babylon Brook coming right up from St. Edward's Aquifer. And yeah, I do neglect my dogs. Look at the little bibber tits. Fellas in the Central Texas area, if you have a beautiful, thick, muscle mommy prairie dog, please let me know because I'd love to also give Big Ounce a beautiful little muscle mommy wife. I promise I won't name her after a problematic character from the boys, but it sure would be lovely for this man to pass his genes on before he actually dies because he's probably getting to be about that age. Well, I suppose now it's time to drain this nasty water. <laughs> no, Patrick, don't drink that. And the only way to mitigate the algae is to just try and scrub as much off of these rocks as we can. But sadly, it's always going to grow back. Now that I decorated Gustavo's little enclosure, I'm going to treat the chlorine with a little bit of prime. Somebody cringe commented, don't put chemicals in the water. Guys, this takes the chemicals out of the water. This is your barber's house. We need more pictures on the subreddit, you guys. Look, guys, he's sleeping. Yeah. On this angle, there is no way for me to grab him without getting bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and use these nice little gloves that we have. Okay, son, in you go. What do you think of this new spot? See, here he has lots of fresh greenery that's not going to rot the water. I know he's not going to try and attack it or chew on it. And pretty soon, we'll put some more minnows in there for him to eat. But because you guys cringe when I put minnows in here, I'm gonna go and catch some fresh ones straight from the ocean. That's right, I'm going to the ocean to catch some minnows for my son Gustavo to eat. Whoa, here it is, you guys. Wow, I'm back from the ocean. A healthy, fresh, young spring chicken for my son Gustavo to eat. See, guys, he doesn't like the one. Oh! Well, well, look at this little legless cricket. I'm gonna catch it with these forceps. Eh. Eh. A perfect fresh thing without any horrible pet store chemicals to feed to my son. Oh, okay, why does he have all that stuff in his mouth? Look how much sun this dang boy gets now. I spy another cricket. <laughs> Gustavo. But there you have it, guys. A bunch of crickets that I caught directly from the ocean. What do you think? But I'll be putting some little native fish in here with them pretty soon. 30 bucks for these. And now I can write all this off. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. Bibberton. Have you been having fun out here, Bibberton? Look, guys, his teeth are growing back. <laughs> wow.
His teeth, for the most part, are already back to normal, and he's looking really healthy. No doubt, part of that's from him being able to run around here all day. Big Al saw the house and jumped out of my arms and started being an absolute rapscallion. Woohoo! <laughs> but all right, everybody, the water's all clean now. And boy, oh boy, do I got a video for you guys today. And some bangers coming to the Capybara Mukbang channel. But these guys are going to enjoy chewing on this thing. It looks like Gord is already figuring out how to eat it. But boy, oh boy, do we have some great pumpkin videos coming up for the Capybara Mukbang channel. Especially considering how pumpkins are actually a lot lower in sugar than watermelon. So these guys can eat a lot more pumpkins without it being bad for their gut biome. And also, all of these guys love to be pet now, except for this one. Every one of them loves to be scratched. Kumala here is my new favorite creature. But every one of these guys is now super friendly. And it only took over a year of working with these guys guys to get him to be like this but that's it for now you guys thank you so much for watching this video and here's a clip of old uncle ben smashing a pumpkin for you guys wow nothing more sus than watching all these boys devour a beautiful white pumpkin and this smells delicious but thank you dear busters for sending us all these love you guys i appreciate you and we'll make a video for you guys on how to put that together real soon i love you all i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video oh i almost forgot to tell you <gasps> and